and welcome to the Cello Doll YouTube channel. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe. I'm doing covers, arrangements, all of my latest tips and tricks, and you will know right when it's out if you subscribe. So I realized last video I didn't say why 88 was the magic number. <laughs> so the reason for that is during one of our lessons, Mr. Howard had me just play a long note as comfortably and as slow as I could while keeping a steady tone. And he said that was about a whole note with quarter note being 60. That is different than the average. You tend to pull a slower bow. And I just thought, how can he calculate that? But he's a genius, so I'm not surprised he could hear that. So what he found of most cellists he asked that question to, on average, it was about a whole note worth of bow where the quarter notes were 88. So that's why he advises 88. I think that's incredible. I really don't know how you hear that. That's amazing. But that's why 88 is the magic number. Mine was just 60. I don't know. <laughs> Today's video is about ways you can see how your strings interact with one another. It's so important to do two strings in one bow because no two strings can be bowed the same way. The C string is the thickest followed by the G, D, and then the A string is the thinnest. The A string is like a twig. You don't even have to try. Like you can look at your A string and it's gonna vibrate. But the C string is like pushing a big log. You need more energy and it's gonna need more power from your bow arm. So really see what you have to do to make each string vibrate consistently. Hint, hint, it has to do with bow weight, which I also have a vlog on. If you're on the A string, you need less of that natural body weight. If you're on the C string, you need more of it because that's where your power is. So a way to really notice that difference is we're going to do another slurred exercise, three quarter notes rolling three strings. <laughs> strings. So in that variation we did three slurred quarter notes, but you can also do it with half notes. So one, two, one, two, one, two, and really focus on a slower bow and saving your bow. So that exercise we can do with quarter notes or even half notes. And then what do you think is going to come next, my dolls? That's right. It's all four strings, one quarter note each, and all slurred. Now, it is crucial that with all of these exercises, really focus on having a clear, consistent tone. So no bumps, no little scrapes or cracks. So be very careful with your ear and make sure it's on high alert. Now, double stops. We talked about double stops, which is when you play two strings at the same time. If we do half notes, I'm gonna start with the G and D. So I can go up to the D and A. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and if you notice, my two strings are sounding pretty equally. I'm not having one string louder than the other. So that's a challenge with that exercise. Now let's do the lower two going up. And then we can do each pair 
So three different sets of double stops. Depending on how long your total practicing days are, I would recommend trying to get five to 15 minutes once or twice a day. So more videos to come as always. If you have been doing open string work, I would love to hear how it's going in the comments below. I really love providing these resources for you dolls and a great way for you to show your support is to like the video and subscribe so the Cello Doll channel can keep growing. Thank you so much for watching and Shelly and I will be back soon to spin more ideas at ya. We'll talk to you dolls soon. Bye!